Okay, today I'm going to talk about reading and understanding live data. I'm only going to go into more of the basics. Um, first off, you need to know before you try to read any kind of live data, you need to be in closed loop, which is where the engine's nice and warmed up and it takes its information straight from the sensors, where if your car's cold, it gets preset determined values straight from the car's computer. So we'll start off at the top, there's engine cooling temperature, mine's right at 197 degrees. Then right under that is short term fuel trims. Now the short term fuel trims, you really want to see uh, negative or positive single digit numbers. Negative numbers always means it's taking fuel away, and positive numbers means that it's adding fuel. So if you're adding too much fuel and it's over, you know, 10.0, then it could be compensating for a vacuum leak so it's dumping extra fuel in so you don't run too lean. Now the long term fuel trims they appear to be staying the same giving you you know a, a better idea of what's going on long term but they too should stay in single digit numbers you really want to see you know no more than five it can sometimes fluctuate a little higher than that but you really, for short and long term fuel trims, you want to see single digit numbers under 10, positive or negative. Now we got RPMs. Mine's at idle. It's nice and warmed up. 712. Um, all the way down here is intake air temperature. So it's taking in air that's 109 degrees. Then you got your throttle position sensor. If I hit the throttle, you'll see that go up. Now, right under that is oxygen sensors. Now, I have a V6 engine, so there's bank 1 and bank 2. What that's saying is O2 bank 1 sensor 1. Then you got O2 bank 1 sensor 2, and then finally O2 bank 2 sensor 1. These, you generally want to see it fluctuate between, between 0.1 to 0.9 volts. So, it fluctuates, 0.9 being more rich while well, 0.1 is more lean so you'll see it go you know over 0.5 and then below 0.5 and then over 0.5 and below 0.5 and that's what you really want to look for if it's constantly staying down and you can rev the engine to see better what's going on see it just went rich and now it's lean so you really just want to see it fluctuating between 0.1 and 0.9 pretty much on a constant rate if it's not, you know, you might have something to look into, but these are just the basics on reading it. And if you have a high, really, you know, high price scanner, you might, you know, be able to turn on different solenoids to see if they're working instead of, you know, pulling out a vacuum gauge, like for your EGR valve, pull out a vacuum gauge, see if it's the diaphragm's actually opening and closing inside the EGR valve. Where with one of these, you could just click a button and it actuates it and a lot better but for oxygen sensors and short-term fuel trims especially oxygen sensors you want to see it fluctuating between 0.1 to 0.9 volts for short-term fuel trims you want to see it around single digit numbers really no more than five it can sometimes like I said go up to seven or eight but you really want to see it below 10 positive or negative numbers so that's just the basics. I'll have a lot more information soon. And uh, yeah, if you like this, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions or you want me to do a longer video on a specific topic, let me know. Thank you.